Starware. Our passion is for the future. Where our passion is for the future. Where our passion is for the future.
welcome everybody to a, uh, the first of three. The first of three we're going to be doing here on Channel One. Uh, starting off, Fallen Angels versus Pain, the most metal matchup you will find this season. And uh, before we get to that, I'm going to see it. And we, we got so much for subtlety on the cams, and Aiden VR is going to be running sidelines uh, here for this one. And uh, I will uh, uh, subtlety actually because I already kind of have it queued up here. Uh, so I'll let the teams know that they can start when they are ready. Start when ready. Oh, he beat me to it. I already had it. Uh, okay, fair, fair enough. I had the, the tag queued up, so uh, but not the actual message. So, yeah, we've got a, a matchup here. Uh, Payne is going to be on the left here in orange. And uh, Fallen Angels on the right there in blue. A, a silver a tier matchup. These two teams uh, playing for their final position in the season. Of course, you know, these teams have been working all season. In particular, I know uh, of Payne. Uh, has been playing all season. Fallen Angels, I'm pretty sure this is their first cast. They've been playing for uh, only a handful of weeks here. Uh, you can see they're six and one. Uh, but this is the point, you know, this is the last week of the season. You really want to have a good showing here. I know Aiden's team uh, is playing tonight. And again, you know, Aiden, I'm sure you can relate to that, you know, having to do like a, having to, you know, make that good showing in that final week to kind of get that that last uh, leg up at the end of the season, get the highest rank you can, right? Yeah, everyone wants to just do what they can to get that extra, extra boost of, the ranking uh i've been dm'd by a few people asking if they wanted to do a challenge match uh yeah lots of people just want that extra boost that extra game to get them to the next step and uh, yeah it looks like uh, teams are, are are close to ready up i think somebody is uh just getting some water uh looks like they're, <laughs> they're out of the moment though you got the, the controllers off in the distance uh but yeah these two teams you can see there uh pain on the left uh eight and seven uh, Fallen Angels, only six and one, so uh, kind of worked their way up the, la the ladder, found their shielding uh, at some point there, hit that uh, that one loss, and I was trying to get some uh, some some victories here at the end of the season. Of course, uh, Fallen Angels playing here with uh, Envy Exodus, not Richard, uh, don't to, not to be confused with Richard, uh, Master Game, and uh, Prince Zizor. Uh, these names I recognize, and of course on the left there in orange paint, G Dre, Weeb named Mina seven three one, Faceless Man sixty nine, the funny number, and Cool Whip. Um, that is uh, in case everybody was curious, that is a proper way to say Cool Whip's name. Uh, is Cool Whip. Uh, she gets she gets incredibly upset. Uh, I found if you don't pronounce it with the H there, uh, so so not so over enunciated. Uh, so just so you're aware, if you ever meet Cool Whip, uh, don't call her Cool Whip, right, Aiden? Aiden learned the wrong way, right, Aiden? The hard way, rather. I almost died. Yeah. See, uh, so you're gonna you're gonna want to over enunciate that H uh, when you pronounce the name Cool Whip, because uh, if you if you if you come out where if you come out where, if you come at her with the the Cool Whip, uh, she well she's gonna whip you. And uh, there's a second ready up. I think that was a second one. Looks like both teams are in their green rooms. The spawn rooms ready to go. And we are going to get started here in round one. Excuse me. As our Team Pain is going to be on the left in orange. I think we've already gone over this, but that's all right. We'll do it again. Team Pain on the left in orange. And Fallen Angels on the right in blue. We're going to get started in round one. Both teams are out of the tubes. There will be a headbutt there from Fallen Angels. Sending this one down, careening around. Not Richard, looking to pick that up. Does get it picked up, has an option. Cross, goes cross. Beautiful cut play there. Master Game gets it in for the two. It looked like uh, Payne was actually down a player. The aforementioned Cool Whip uh, was not out uh, in the uh, on the pitch for that one. Not sure what the situation was. Maybe uh, incidental finding our way back in the two, but we will start back. Payne with his joust advantage. And come on out of the tubes. Will be G Dre. Sending that one off, but a read there. What an interception, not Richard. They've got everybody in the bubble right now. That send-in, though, is going to be quite wide. Finds its way right back out. Not Richard gets it there as the entire defense returns. Nice couple stuns out there. Good dis uh, good play by... Uh, it, was, it was that on the far side? I think it was Faceless Man, 69. Sending this one all the way down. Uh, may have been on its way in, but hits the nugget. Now to the near side wall. Good pick up here by G. Dre. Has one at the shield. Weeb going to go for the shot. 1v3. Not Richard who's going to get that one collected. Now sending this one away. The chain looking to track that one down. And the far side trap does. Prince Zizor sending this one in. They have a chain down to pick it up. NV Exodus gets it in for the two. A minute and 20 in. 44 seconds after the last. Fallen Angels have got a two goal lead. Also, shout out to uh, uh, Scott DP12. DPT12. Uh, as well as virtual dysfunction. Uh, thanks for hanging out. 
This is GJ over to Weave at the far side. Who's setting us one in right in the hands there. Master game. It's a turned over again. Not Richard now with it. Under uh, under pressure there by Weave. And the sending this one out deep. Gonna be into the old oh, master game. Uncontested. Just walks that one in for the two. Two and a ten. Fallen Angels are up by three. Up by six, excuse me. Three goals. Well, two goals, but anyway. Shout out to Aiden. <laughs> As well, in the chat. Apologies, sir. As it will be pain once again on this joust advantage. G Dre near side tube to faceless man. Oh no, faceless man, right in the hands of not Richard. Looking for the uh Kong shot is gonna hit it. Excuse me, that's not the Kong shot, that's a four shot. Kong shot is off the wall. I always get that wrong, don't know why. Not Richard hitting that one for a three. Fallen Angels with the nine point lead here in this first round. Interesting, we have virtual dysfunct this virtual dysfunction and dysfunctional in the chat there. Uh, sounds like we need to have a fight here. Fight a, a, a fight to the to the death. Some might say Mortal Kombat. Is that one cleared across to the far side? Collected there by Weeb. Weeb wants to set up Gdre, but too many defenders in the bubble there. They need to set up for a little bit more of a coordinated attack on that. But this one gets cleared all the way out. That the defense for uh, Fallen Angels is doing a lot of heavy lifting here. Oh my, not Richard. Yeah, just thinking about that. So that last attack there from Payne, uh, basically, yeah, kind of the three of them at the edge of the bubble. You know, they didn't have anyone in yet. The entire fall, Fallen Angels defense was there. I think that's kind of the point where you want to back that out, get someone inside to start uh, causing some trouble, and uh, try to draw that defense out. Although an opportunity here, Cole Webb sending out one in. It's got to be off the nest. And uh, Faceless Man getting stunned out. Ultimately, Envy Exodus gets it picked up. And clear it out. This one all the way down. They get the chain down there quick. They are fast. Not Richard gets it in. Fallen Angels. 13 point lead here. Four minutes in. Should if a virtual dysfunction? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble parsing that sentence. Left. It's the right. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure what you're trying to say. Should I give myself a left or the right? Is that what it's... Anyways, shot there off of the side of the cone, out of the bubble. Collected by Gidre. Setting from back across. Faceless man not able to play it. A slap there is going to get it sent to mid, through mid, all the way down. And a good leech there by Faceless man. Trying to stop this one from happening. Defense returns. Not Richard. Once again, gets another one in. 15 point lead. Uh, Asian Victoria, I cannot answer. I, I do not have an answer to that question. That's pain now with it. GJ sending it to the far side tube there to face a spin. It could also just be a bad round. Uh, Asian Victoria, sometimes we see, you see that from time to time, even in Master Tier. Not Richard, long shot, boom. Uh, your Sony, yes, uh, yeah, both teams silver. Uh, I appreciate sure they're not too far off each other on the ladder as well at the moment. Uh, this late in the season, you usually uh, expect kind of every matchup to be uh, to be a close one. Like I said, could just be a could just be a rough round uh, for Payne here as they're coming out once again on the shouts advantage. Because they've had some really good looks. Uh, just a, a look like a, a couple of miscommunications, and Fallen Angels have been doing a really good job of punishing. Uh, small mistakes, which have kind of been, and, and they haven't been missing those punish, those, those punish plays. Sent across there, G Dre picks it up, but immediately stomped on by those defenders. And it's uh, the Fallen Angels defense is really just kind of operating uh, exceptionally well. Is that bounce? Oh my goodness! The bounce goes in, 58 meters out. That's going to end round one here. Fallen Angels take it at 21 to 0, with uh, about three minutes to spare. And uh, yes, uh, Stugatz, uh, Agent Victoria is correct there. It's uh, the, basically the day after finals. It'll be the 25th. But with that said, uh, Aiden, I mean, uh, kind of a shorter round than we might have expected. But uh, I, what what notes might you have here? I'm going to be honest. There was not much to look at that round. Uh, the Fallen Angels, 
Uh, this is their first ever cast. Pain cast a few times before. But the Fallen Angels, obviously, not their first time playing in VRML. As they do get that quick start all the way down the field into the goal. They, uh, they got that first joust by a little bit. And the offense is just speedy. Seriously, it was clear and boost just for them. And uh, not Richard. Not Richard getting the MVP there with uh, 12 goals. And I'm going to call it rad right now because uh, 21, 21 points in this game. Uh, but I'm seeing at least that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight shots. At least eight shots required to make that 21 points. And even in that case, I think uh, it's, it's fewer than that. Because uh, they were they were if they were basically all twos, but they're only registering seven shots from Fallen Angels. So I'm calling shenanigans there, uh, as we are getting started here in round two. And uh, curious what Team Pain uh, may what, what adjustments they might make coming into this one. Um, really, you know the only the, the spot where I saw it falling apart, Pain was doing fine uh, with possession, getting to the bubble. Was once they were at the bubble, that's, that tended to be where the turnarounds happened. Uh, and Fallen Angels defense just did a really good job of executing and punishing as they are going to get this one, turning it around. They've got three in the bubble there. Uh, that is Weave coming in. Oh, the shot there off the post. As that one finds its way out, now collected by Cool Whip. Opportunity here for Pain to capitalize, to punish a little bit uh, on their side. But now it's going to be not Richard. Oh, a couple stuns. G. Dre clean steal, but there is a goalie in the goal. They've got uh, Envy Exodus back. As DJ sending this one up to Faceless Man. Faceless Man trying to go to Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Picking that one up off the wall. Sends in the shot. And Exodus gets the grab, but places it in himself. Well, their self, excuse me. As uh, Payne is going to get the first goal here of round two. Less than a minute in. 41 seconds. And uh, not a uh, not a technical goal either. A proper, a proper goal. Not Richard sending this one up. Looking to dribble this. It's one. Looking for two, but they get shut down. Actually, that wasn't a second. They, that was a pass in Prince with it. Prince uh, has some pass options, though. It's a chain gets in there. Goalie stunned out. Nice reef spot. Oh, and the dig. Oh, that one. They've got, you've got to punish on that. Weave gets this one sent out, cleared out. That one is away. It is out. The pain can capitalize on this. They can get a two goal lead here. As this one's all the way down, edge of the bubble will be picked up by Not Richard. Cool whip. Applying some pressure on that four check. The pass out to Prince. Prince. Looking for a clear as that chain gets together. Chain is gonna wait, gonna get away. But the, the clear out is not good. This one stays at mid. Faceless man gets it back, sends it through. All the way down to the edge of the bubble, off of the boot there, right back out. Will be collected by Gdre. Gdre taking the shot. That one's gonna be quite wide. And collected there by Prince Zizor. Prince is stunned out by Weave. Cool whip with the pickup, cool whip, bringing it in. Shot there. Oh, and somehow a stop. Is that off the head? No, goalie got stunned out right after making the save. Oh, my goodness. Faceless man with a little bit of time here to be able to collect this one. Under pressure, looks for that clear, though caught in the trap. And not able to pick that up. Shot goes low. Back out. Faceless man able to collect on that one there. Uh, in the neutral zone, gets a 10 out all the way down. That going to be in. No, just wide. Very close. Still just a one goal on the board here. Two-point game in favor of Payne. Two and a half minutes in after that uh, after that quick mercy in the first round from Fallen Angels. Now Fallen Angels back in possession here. Only just as Prince Zizor looked for a clear. Master game boosting. Really good response here though from Payne and they collect on this turnover. Cool whip look for the clear out. Gets a bit of a quest two throw, unfortunate. This one to the edge of the bubble there. A couple good stuns and it will be... Uh, well, teammates reach each other a little bit. A little miscommunication. Not Richard pulls off the ender. Sends this one across. A little bit out of reach of the intended target. Now back there. Far side. Master game with it. Master game setting up. Envy. Envy with an opportunity. Stopped there by Faceless Man. And now, uh, ooh, not Richard. Uh, taking advantage of the invulnerability. Faceless Man ultimately coming away with that one. Looking for the clear. Doesn't quite get out. Caught in the far side tube. But out of the neutral zone. Out of their uh, offensive zone. But Prince Eyes were trying to send it back in. Faceless Man gets it. Prince gets it right back. Prince setting this one up. It is going to be in the hands of Envy Exodus, who just beat, the, who just won that 1v1. Little stun battle on that far side, uh, the far side shoulder. But then gets a shot on the goalie as well. Beautiful goal there for Fallen Angels. Two and a half minutes. We were scoreless for Fallen Angels. Find the back of the net while the plane of the goal, that is. They do tie it up. Now Payne with it. G-Dre. For an option. Turns it in. 
Ooh, basis man plays that one on the bounce, gets this one set up. Not able to play, there was cool whip, try to track it down, unable to, not Richard with it now, so it does turn over, Fallen Angels back in possession. Not Richard, up to Master Game. Master Game, oh! Oh, geez, right, almost had that. Master Game had no idea it was there and was looking away. Unbelievable. Faceless man trying to get there. No, plays the man wisely. GJ trying to track it down. Gonna send out by that back stun. The back stack, excuse me, not Richard. Stunned out. Prince Zizor gets a hand on it. Finally gets that one cleared away there for Fallen Angels, but it took him uh, quite the work, uh, quite the effort, as now Faceless man able to get there first here for Pain. Pain's stacks. Uh, really quickening in this second round, but Fallen Angels back in possession here. They're pressing under the bubble. Oh, the shot there from Master Game. Able to send that one in on the, the perturbed goalie. Had uh, the the, uh, the player in the face. That's going to be a good goal there. Two points, though. Only two. Halfway through this second round. Fallen Angels have retaken the lead, however. DJ with it here on this Jouse advantage. Quick pass, far side two. Weeb not able to handle that one. This one up to the ceiling. Cool whip, good leech. Not able to get the grab. This one gets sent back out into the pain zone. Fallen Angels stack gets their first. Disc is loose for a moment. Shot there as the defense was returning. Shot goes wide. And a good slap there, sending it back towards mid. This one careening around. This is this is more of the matchup I was expecting. This is definitely so, uh, yeah, Payne just having a, a rough first round, trying to send us to a, th a third round and uh, show us what they're really made of here. As not Richard gets this one collected, stunned out by Weeb. This one up to the ceiling, Pull Whip gets there first. Send now keeps it at mid, faceless man trying to recover, does, slaps it through, that one's all the way down. Could that bounce in? It might just, no, not quite on. Not Richard gets there first. Sent out into that far side trap. Good, good recovery there, Weeb with it. Sending GJ in off of that boost. Cool whip, high right. GJ wants to go to Cool Whip. Cool Whip was stunned out before that pass even got sent off there. That just shows you Fallen Angels defense is just really good. You're gonna the, the setups have to be a little bit more uh set up there. Oh, oh, or like this! GJ to Reeb. They catch Fallen Angels in transition and tie it up. That's how Payne has been having a score in this one, and they've been able to because uh, they're stopping Fallen Angels from doing too much damage this round. And we're underway. There's a stop there. That chain gets stopped up at mid. And I'm starting to think, I, I don't know if it was so much that, although Payne probably feels like they had a, 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 a just a rough first round, I think Fallen Angels were really just on it in the first round. Well, because some of the setups, they haven't been quite as clean as they were in the first round, although not Richard. As well, not Richard, not with, uh, not getting the uh, the sort of, uh, it, they might be barking not Richard now that I'm thinking about it. As a DJ gets this one picked up. Oh no, into the tube, that's unfortunate. Oh, the shot! Cool, play the lottery after that one. Now this one's sent through. Grumpy, that's what I've been saying. I've been saying that for the last week, the last two weeks, because I, I picked up some, uh, some, so, uh, some games earlier uh, in, uh, last week, and I was uh, and I was telling the chat, I was like, I think this is a, a platinum game. They were like, no, nah, it's silver. I was like, shut up. I had no idea because they, they actually they're, they're coordinated now. They run plays. They don't clump like they used to. Cool whip. Oh, saw the goal. Takes a shot. Prince gets a stop. This one in the bubble there. NV Exodus gets it cleared. Uh, the 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 skill, the level of skill has increased significantly as you go down the ladder. Uh, it's really awesome to see how much information is disseminated, how much skill is disseminated, uh, how much better uh, players overall are in the game. Opportunity here, MV Exodus is going to get the 1v1, really a 3v1 against a goalie. Fallen Angels take a two-point lead. I mean, well, it's it's because um, when so before the quest wave, when it like season zero, season one. Uh, everyone was kind of not an even skill skill level, obviously, but uh, you know it was kind of the same. You know, a hundred or so players we had all kind of gotten to know each other. You know, prior to that se those seasons even starting. This faceless man opportunity here, setting up on a weave, sends it in, hits it, tying it up again. Minute twenty. Uh, but then the quest wave came in, and suddenly you had hundreds of teams, and ninety nine percent of them were. Just absolutely, actually, all of them for that first season just could not compete with us, with the teams that had been around. Uh, so there was a big disconnect between the teams at the top and the teams not at the top. 
but now we, we've kind of watched this uh, over time. We've been we've been here able to watch this uh, over time, seeing it play out where, you know, those teams that used to all clump and, you know, that, that kind of the level of skill, we just get to witness it as master game, 18 seconds. Uh, really, I think it's just being able to witness it this time, not kind of being a part of it, kind of being a little separate from it this time and watching it grow, watching it happen from from underneath us. It's not that sounds so. That sounds so snotty. That's not what I mean. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I'm just gonna shut up. Pain. Handling this one. 30 seconds. DJ sends this one out. Oh, it hits the lip. Not Richard sending this one back in. It's gonna careen around in the bubble there. They're gonna get a player in the area. Goalie in. GJ's looking to stop it. Unable to. That's gonna be a goal there. That's the last goal here for round two. Bull and Angels are gonna take it 10 to 6. Wow. Shout out to Team Payne though. I mean, they really, really came back in the second round. It's hard to do that. It is hard to do. When you get when you have that kind of first round, it is hard to come back in the second round uh, and respond in a way that keeps you competitive. Uh, Aiden. That was a very different second round there, man. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, both teams playing much more aggressive, but uh, Fallen Angels just able to take this one by two. Though Payne did significantly better. They did amazing for being mercied in the first round. They took it 6-10. But uh, honestly, the stack from Fallen Angels just didn't give them too many options. There was just... They didn't give them angles. They didn't give them anything. They wanted to keep them uh, cornered in a single corner. But uh, the defense from Payne did really good uh, against that constant pounding from Fallen Angels. They, they did do a really good job. Payne looked really good in that second round. I was, I was really hoping for a third, uh, especially after that first, the way Payne responded in the second round. I, really, I was like, you know, th this team deserves a third round at this point because uh, it's clear that that first round was... In some way, it wasn't the the normal course of action there. Something, you know, either either I think it was a little bit of both. Payne had a kind of a rough game, and Fallen Angels had a real. Uh, well, Payne had a rough round, and Fallen Angels had a really good round. They were just on it. Uh, also, just shout out. Up. Uh, also, a shout out Fallen Angels. It uh, doesn't look, look doesn't look so on the board there, uh, but they did every single one of them getting a. Uh, stats and uh, all the points, assists, and save score columns. Uh, steals not so much, but steals not nearly as important as the others. Uh, but with that said. Uh, we're gonna end the stream here. We got about 30 minutes till the next game. That's gonna be New York Kings versus Denver Raptors, uh, at which point Solar P is gonna be joining me. Uh, and then we're gonna be doing one more of the Deviants versus Origin. You're gonna get to see uh, Aiden uh, play in that game uh, in particular, so uh, definitely don't miss that. But until then, uh, we're gonna go off for now. I've been Monsieur and we. We had Aiden on the sidelines and uh, so much subtlety on the cameras. Mr. Subtlety, glad you're, glad you're getting some cams work in. And uh, we are going to uh, be back at about 30. So don't go too far. Maybe, you know, make a snack or something. And uh, we'll see you in not too long. Are, the, are, are we still live? Can they hear me? What do I do? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I had a little technical difficulties. I'm able to get to the uh, the, <laughs> the credits here. Uh, so yeah, gonna gonna talk for a little bit, little for another minute or so uh, until I get the. Season 4 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX Asterian Products VRWare Rebuff Reality VR Cover and ProTube VR <laughs>